Okay guys, so in this video, we're gonna wrap up the 2021 JDM Shimano releases that I found interesting. Now I'm gonna start out with the JDM counterpart to the Tranx 300, and that is the new Scorpion Monster Drive, or Scorpion MD for short. Now Monster Drive seems to be a new moniker Shimano assigns to their low profile big bait reels. And of course the first Monster Drive reel was the Antares. Now I say this reel is new, but it's based on the Grappler reel that has been out for a few years now which is the same body as the Tranks 300 and the new Corrado 300K. Now, as you can see in this video footage, Shimano pro staffer Jim Murata is out on the ocean launching a big swim bait targeting sea bass. So that means this reel is definitely approved for salt water. Now this new Scorpion Monster Drive is yet another example of how Shimano keeps the better reels for their home market. Now this reel is not a JDM version of the new Corrado 300K. Based on its price, the Scorpion MD is actually a JDM version of the Tranx 300. Now of course this is subjective, but I think the Scorpion looks more special than the Tranx. It's got the red drag star, the red accents on the spool and spool tension. And the Scorpion will also come with the option of having either a 90 millimeter handle that has the standard Septon grips or a 102 millimeter handle that comes with EVA power grips at no extra cost. Speaking of which, this reel comes in only one gear ratio and that is a very high speed 7.9 to 1. Now when you combine that with the fact that the reel has a big 43mm spool, each turn of the handle is probably going to bring in probably close to 5 feet of line. Now Shimano also put micro module gears in the Scorpion Monster Drive, which is of course absent from the Tranx and Corrado 300K. So yet another advantage for the JDM market reel. And the last feature that puts this reel above the Tranks and the Corrado 300K is the eight pin SVS braking system. So while the Tranks and Corrado 300K have the six pin SVS, the Scorpion has eight pins for more adjustment. And as you can see, the brake hub is a lot more refined and better looking versus the brake hub on the Tranks and the Corrado 300K as well. Now the price for this reel is 36,000 yen or as of today about $340 US. 
So the street price when it comes out will probably be between $250 and $280, depending on the exchange rate, of course. Now, does this new Scorpion Monster Drive make me wish I would have waited to get this instead of the Corrado 300K? Well, while I do think it looks better, since I am new at fishing big swim baits, I'm pretty content with my Corrado 300K. But for the advanced and experienced swim bait anglers, this reel presents a pretty attractive alternative to the popular Tranxes and Lexa HDs that are apparently the top selling swim bait reels. Now the release dates for these reels are going to be May for the right hands and then the left hands will be released in June. So the last reel I'm going to cover is the all new Calcutta Conquest round reel. Now the previous Conquest came out in 2014 so it was about 7 or 8 years old. Now by just looking at this new reel you wouldn't know that it was new but when you put it side by side against the old model you can see they've given it new side plates. Now this new Conquest gets some updates and added features versus the old model. Now the updates include the new narrow MGL3 spool and the new third generation SVS Infinity brake system. Now this new MGL3 spool is actually much smaller than the old model. The old Conquest 100 spool was pretty big at 36 millimeters and when you combine that with how light it was, the reports are that it was a devastating caster, especially for a round reel. But this new spool is much smaller at only 33 millimeters, so it's going to have to work much harder to achieve the same distances as the old spool. Now I'm sure the newer SPS Infinity brakes will definitely help. Now they claim to have reduced the spool size in order to make this new reel lower, but in this picture, it looks about the same height as the old model. So I'm not sure as to why they made this change. Now, the one feature that is new is the first implementation of Infinity Drive on a baitcaster made for bass fishing. Now, Infinity Drive has been in some of their saltwater um, baitcasters and spinning reels for a while now. And this is the first time it's going to be put into a bait caster for bass fishing. Now I'm going to put up the explanation of Infinity Drive on the screen for you guys to read and it seems like the basics of it is that Infinity Drive is supposed to increase the power but at the same time decrease the effort it takes to crank the handle. So it sounds like the whole low inertia quick response trend that a lot of the higher dollar spinning reels are doing. So when you combine Infinity Drive with X-Ship, the first tier brass micro gears, which are all housed in an all aluminum frame and side place, Shimano says that the winding and cranking of this new Calcutta Conquest will be pure joy. Now personally I'm going to wait until Infinity Drive gets put into a low profile baitcaster before I get to see what it's all about because I have no plans on getting this new Conquest. Unless it comes out in a bait finesse version of course. Now the street prices are going to be about the same as the old model which is about $450 ish dollars but it is also coming to the US to replace the old model 
and I'm not sure about the price on that yet. So the last item I'm going to cover is not a reel, but an upgrade part. Now when it comes to reels, in the grand scheme of things, I think Shimano has Daiwa beat hands down. But there is one area that Daiwa embarrasses Shimano in, and this is factory, custom, and optional upgrade parts. A lot of people don't know that Shimano actually has a company called Umea, which makes their factory approved optional and upgraded parts for Shimano reels. Now on the other hand, Daiwa has at least two or three optional parts divisions, SLP Works, um, RCS, and I think one or two others I can't think of right offhand. So when it comes to the factory optional parts to upgrade or customize your reel, Daiwa definitely has way more to offer. And in my opinion, their parts look a lot better and definitely more cutting edge as well versus the Shimano Yumea offerings. But this year, Yumea has actually released an optional handle and knob set for Shimano reels that I hope is a sign of things to come. Now check out the Yumea Ultra Strong handle. Now this is an aluminum handle that comes in either 96 millimeters or 110 millimeters, but the handle itself is not a big deal. It's the knobs and especially those knob end caps. Now they are definitely emulating the DRT varial handle and knob set with this. Now as you can see the end caps on these power style knobs have a very aggressive and stylish design that resembles sports car rims. Now, I believe they should be made of machined aluminum. And speaking of the knobs, they are bigger than the average Shimano power knob, but the more important feature of these knobs is that they appear to be made of the super sticky and super soft Septon rubber material instead of EVA foam. Now they haven't set a price yet for this handle set, but one thing's for sure, they're gonna be way less than the expensive DRT varial handle and knob sets. And I'm definitely planning on getting a set when they come out.